Hello everyone, Eevee the Original Master here, and welcome to my VeggieTales review on the League of Incredible Vegetables, released on October 16th of 2012. So, uh, this review will not go way into depth, just because that I do not want this video to be really long, I want this to be a short, sweet review, and I am going to try my best to point out everything that I have remembered from this episode. So, this is actually the fourth and final Larry Boy episode in the original VeggieTales series, before uh, the Netflix stuff. And yes, so this is a Larry Boy episode. And uh, so in this episode, uh, Larry Boy and the League of Incredible Vegetables, which consists of Bob, uh, Mr. Lunt, and Petuna Rebarb, who all have their own separate characters. So uh, Larry is Larry Boy, obviously. Uh, we are known from his super suction ears. Uh, we also got uh, Escape, uh, played by Mr. Lunt. Uh, we got uh, Ricochet, which is a Junior Asparagus, who actually becomes a member of the League of Incredible Vegetables in this episode. And uh, there's also uh, Thingamabob, which is Bob the Tomato, which is actually his first time being a superhero in a actual Larry Boy episode. Because if you guys recall from Larry Boy and the Bad Apple, Bob decided to become a superhero and we finally get him to see him in action in the League of Incredible Vegetables. So, uh, Alfred, uh, Larry Boy's butler, has received a call from the countertop, receiving a letter that Larry Boy is actually afraid of everything. So, Larry Boy has a fear of things, and that's basically what this episode is about, is handling fear. And already, we've already had an episode like this, which was the first episode, Where's God When I'm Scared, because that episode had Junior watching a horror movie, and he realizes that God is bigger than anything, so he needs to trust in God for him to know that he can't be afraid of everything. So, the, the villain for this Larry Boy episode is the name Dr. Flurry, and out of all the Larry Boy villains, I think Dr. Flurry has to be my least favorite. Uh, it's because that he really isn't that great of a character. He's just okay. He's not anything too special. I still think the Bad Apple is my favorite Larry Boy villain. It's because I, I actually did like her character traits. But if you guys didn't recall from my Larry Boy and the Bad Apple review, I claimed that Larry Boy and the Rumor Weed was my favorite Larry Boy episode. And it, and it still is because that episode was pretty f amazing. And uh, the League of Incredible Vegetables, it was an okay episode. It was an okay episode as well. But it still wasn't anything special though. Uh... So, Dr. Flory uh, pays a visit to Bumbleberg. He steals this frozen... He steals this ray gun and uh, that freezes uh, people. And so, he also uh, finds... He also has a radar that tracks down everyone's fears. So, he then takes their fears and uh, he basically seals them. And so, uh, he actually kidnaps uh, Escape... Uh, I forgot to mention a Petunia's power, which is supposed to be vague or voog or some crap. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I honestly don't care. And, uh, yeah, so he basically, uh, kidnaps, uh, voog, uh, freaking, uh, Larry Boy, Thingamabob, and Escape, which is Mr. Lunt. And, uh, Junior has to save the day by basically destroying, uh, the Frozen Radar, and frees his friends, and he's an official member of the League of Incredible Vegetables. So that's the episode. I know I didn't discuss it way into details, but I told you guys in the beginning of this video, I was only reviewing it based off of my experience of it, of what I remember seeing in it. So that's all you're going to get. I'm sorry if this review wasn't professional, but that's how it's going to be for the remainder of these reviews. So overall, The League of Incredible Vegetables, I'm going to have to give this episode a 7.5 out of 10. It was okay. It was actually a, a great parody of The Avengers, but it wasn't anything too special. But it was actually creative that they made an episode where Larry Boy had other assistants known as The League of Incredible Vegetables. So that's my review on The League of Incredible Vegetables. Sorry if it wasn't professional, but whatever. I'll see you guys next time with Noah's Ark. God made you special and he loves you very much. Goodbye.